you're a liar. You're a liar. And the Palestine movement has the potential to bring down the whole Tory government, and not just the Tory government, I would say any government and any mainstream political party that is backing what Israel is doing right now, which is a genocide. We are running this campaign because the whole of the political establishment in Britain are completely out of touch on the question of Gaza, and they're completely out of touch with what workers and young people actually need in this country. We stand for healthcare and not bombs. We stand for education and not bombs, and investing in us. We have war criminals to bring down and a world if we organize ourselves on that basis, we can bring the whole of society to a standstill. That is the power that we have here. So you I know do you're care concerned. about people dying. I said that at the, the beginning. But you know I care lying. about... You're a hypocrite. If you cared about break people dying... Now. Break now. If you cared about people dying... Thousands of people now. are dying today break. in Sudan. The cost of living crisis going up, inflation, climate chaos, all of this is on the minds of people because there is a connection, I would say, with what is happening in Palestine and, and the whole Palestinian movement growing and the general anger in society. What we need to do is grow this movement on a mass scale, reach as many layers in society as possible and it's on that basis that we can bring down war criminals and the whole system that they uphold. Thank you. We can connect the atrocities in Gaza with the atrocities in Britain because it's all part of the same global capital system which ultimately puts profit above human life and it's killing the Palestinians but it's also killing people here in this country too. Yeah, We want to bring down the war criminals in Westminster, but we want to bring down the whole system that allows them to do what they're doing. And that means nationalizing all of these major corporations, all of the public services, and using the money that exists and the resources that exist to actually give people a decent life. If elected as an MP, I'm pledging to take an average worker's wage, which in East London at the moment is about £32,000 a year. And that's because I mean it when I say it's time for a clear out to sweep out all of these careerists and opportunists. We are revolutionaries and not politicians. And I'm going to fight in the interests of the working class and young people. If I became MP, what I would want to do, first and foremost, is create a culture of political discussion, essentially across the whole constituency, where you have meetings of people where they can come and talk about the problems in their lives, talk about what's happening, and then it's on that basis that we decide how we're going to fight back against this, right? A lot of the problems in people's lives are ultimately connected to the massive underfunding that is taking place. The only way we are going to get that funding is if we fight for it and we campaign for it. imperialism will be through having faith in ourselves not the courts not lawyers but a mass movement of the workers and youth united I think it was Rosa Luxemburg she said you know socialism or barbarism that's what's facing us and that was true then a hundred years ago but it's also true now viva, viva! Ah!